Hey guys, Tony Smith with Denison Yachty, and today we're on a 2016 Sunreef 70 Powercat, the Valhalla. So we're gonna show you around the boat, let us know your thoughts and comments. One of the main things that we really love about this boat is the uh, main salon area. You'll see I'm uh, standing here, center line in the boat. We've got practically 11 foot ceilings in here, plenty of natural lighting that comes in, and really a lovely modern look and feel. Here we've got an L-shaped settee, some very nice artwork. On the port side, we've got a large TV. This boat has plenty of TVs and really nice audio visual the whole way around. We're gonna walk around into the galley area and show you that. So over here in the galley, which you'll note is center line, I've got a huge floating island here, which is really nice. This works great as a food prep area, as well if you wanna serve breakfast out here and kind of have a breakfast bar set up. Over on the port side, you'll see I've got a sink here. I've got area for refuse, and this is really neat. I've got a dishwasher here that's integrated as well as four full drawers with cold storage throughout. There's an oven and a four burner cooktop on the outside, and then in the island, there's a microwave. So really nice sweeping windows on this. We get plenty of natural light in through the sliding glass doors out to the cockpit area. Over on the uh, starboard side, what you'll see here, we've got a really nice dining table here, as well as an L-shaped settee. Up by the window area, again, we get plenty of light through these sweeping windows. And then there's a sun pad there where you could actually lay out if you do want to be on the inside, but really get this beautiful view of the tropical waters out here. Again, the galley connects very nicely with the island center line, as well as moving forward up into your forward salon. Next, we're gonna check out my favorite cabin. This is the On Deck Master, just forward of the forward salon. Now, what you're gonna see here in the forward salon is we've got a very beautiful view. We've got shades that go up and down here, letting lots of natural skylight in. Here, we've got a center line queen size berth. We've got a Ray Marine nav station. We've got access down to the fifth cabin that we'll show you later on, as well as on the aft bulkhead here, we've got a really nice television, plenty of integrated storage, and really just a beautiful on-deck master, something very unique to this model. On the port side, we're gonna walk down to the ensuite master. In the ensuite master, what you're gonna notice is forward, there's a nice electric toilet. Outboard, there's two dual basin sinks with plenty of storage below. And to the aft, there's a huge dedicated shower with a glass enclosure. Okay, so next up, port side midship, we're gonna step down and check out two VIP cabins. Forward midship, we've got a port ship bunk in this VIP. You'll see we've got some really nice hull side windows and a complete ensuite with a separate shower stall. After the midship stateroom, we find another VIP. You'll notice a thwart ship bunk, a very nice mirror overhead, as well as an LG television. So crossing over to the starboard side, in the aft, there's a matching stateroom. It mirrors the previous one, but the crew's currently in it, so we're not gonna take a detailed look, but it does mirror that. We're gonna go ahead and look at the midship cabin on the starboard side. So midship on the starboard side, this is gonna bring us into the fifth cabin. So this is a really unique setup. We've got the huge hull side windows here. We have two matching singles. And then this connects forward to another area. So this area could be used as a playroom for kids or as a general storage room. One of the really cool features about the fifth stateroom here is with these two singles, it's ideal for the kids and it does connect directly to the main deck master. So this is really nicely set up for a family situation. And then up front, what we're gonna see is we've got a really hardy watertight bulkhead. Behind this bulkhead, you'll notice it has access to the third crew quarter area. Also note on the aft section of the fifth stateroom here, we do have an ensuite head, again with a rotating shower enclosure. Okay, so next up, we're gonna check out the cockpit area in the aft of the boat. So here you'll notice we move through two sliding glass doors. This is our main area of the cockpit here. You'll notice this huge table here, plenty of seating for up to 12 guests. On the starboard side, we've got a really nice day bed. 
You'll notice Fusion stereo control up above. There's lovely teak everywhere here, as well as storage underfoot. The next feature I want to point out is in the aft of the boat here, we have a large platform that goes up and down. We also have an electric hoist system that will pick the tender up and put it on the tender mounts there. And there is a jet ski up above on the flybridge that has a davit that will come down to this platform and then launch. So the hydraulic platform is really great for water toys and for swimming and for scuba diving. Over on the port side, you'll notice we have a bar area with cold storage below. One feature that I really like is these glass doors that open up. They directly connect the galley and the outdoor bar with the, our outdoor al fresco dining area. Okay, so next up, we're gonna take a quick look at the engine room. Again, these have uh, the D13 IPS 1200 motors, and you're able to drive this boat sideways with the joystick. We'll look at the mechanical space now. Looking forward in the engine bay, you're gonna see the uh, main part of the Volvo D13. On the outboard side, on both engine rooms, we have the Fisher Panda generators. An important thing to note, since we're on a catamaran, we actually have two separate engine rooms, and we'll take a quick look at the starboard next. Taking a quick look at the starboard engine room, you'll note that there is a combo washer dryer and a fully functional water maker in this engine room. One feature that I wanna point out is this boat does have the IPS integrated propulsion system. So with that, both on the port and starboard, we have additional helm stations so we can completely control the vehicle from the side, as well as we have two bow thrusters. So if you're in heavy wind, we can really maneuver this vessel around nicely. Moving forward from the port docking station, we're gonna walk up the port deck and check out the front. On both the port and starboard side, we have large fender keepers to keep our fenders when we're underway. Also on the front of the boat, you'll note we've got racks for our stand-up paddle boards here. Center line on the boat, you'll notice two steps up. We've got a nice sun pad to hang out. And then moving further up, we have three steps up to the hard top area. Walking down the starboard side, you'll notice the large sweeping windows that mirror each other on both sides. Our next stop is gonna be the enclosed flybridge. Our last stop today is up here in the flybridge. A few features that you're gonna notice is it does have a hydraulic hatch here that goes up and down. So we can uh, close this area to have it completely safe when we're underway. Additionally, it does have a television that pops up here. So if you do want to watch the game while you're relaxing in this area, that's an option. Moving forward from the TV, we get to the main helm area. What you're going to see is we have two very nice diamond stitch leather wrapped chairs. And these chairs are actually electronic, so you can tilt them back and forth and they will go up and down as well. So you can have the ultimate height and position while driving the boat. Up front at the main helm, you're going to notice we have three Raymarine panels, as well as a multifunction display that controls the ship systems. Again, the boat has the Volvo integrated propulsion system, so it does have a joystick where you can drive from that. It has two bow thrusters, one in each four-peak area, as well as a Volvo Penta engine monitoring system. We can start and stop the engine from here, and we do have our traditional throttles when we're driving it with the wheel and the engine controls. We have all of our autopilot and other ship systems easily at hand here. We have a VHF as well as a compass. Port side outboard, we have additional storage as well as a wet bar and cold storage. Over on the starboard, you're gonna see we have some L-shaped seating as well as we have a high-low table. This table can actually convert into a bed when it's lowered down. One of the favorite features up here is we have these large sliding glass windows here so this entire bridge can be enclosed and you can enjoy the air conditioning. Moving aft, we have a really nice sky lounge area that overlooks the ocean. Up here in the sky lounge, what you're gonna see is we have a full 180 degree sweeping view. Nice and protected by stainless steel railings. Over on the port side, we have a davit system and you'll notice our jet ski. We can easily launch the jet ski off the transom of the boat and the hydraulic swim platform. On behalf of myself, Tony Smith, and the rest of the team at Denison Yachting, thanks for checking out the Sunreef 70 Power. If you're in the market for a boat like this, please feel free to reach out directly at the information below.
For additional information, please email me at ts at denisonyachting.com. Also, feel free to text me at 404-805-9819. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below, and be on the lookout for additional videos 